welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So um, the first card is the goldfish and it says there's an increase in material wealth coming your way and a lot of spiritual growth as well. So really, uh, you know, getting there. You've been through a lot of hardship, Pisces, and uh, it looks like things are about to turn around for you. You've got the bridge over here, so it says successfully overcoming problems. So you'll be able to, if you have any breakup in relationships, you've got that bridge that's being built over there. But it's also that, um, you know, uh, things are starting to mend. Uh, you know, broken bridges are starting to mend at the moment. You've got the vulture card over here. You are feeling a bit depressed. You're a bit worried, a lot of anxiety, uh, and also worried that somebody's against you as well. And that's the vulture card. Now in the past, you've got the broom, so you've started something brand new. Um, you've started either a new home, a new attitude. Uh, you know, you're on the fool's journey, so you've started the new phase in your life, really. You've got the clouds card over here, so there were some temporary problems that may have caused uh, some issues with you, but you are successfully overcoming those particular problems. Now, going to the future, you've got the coins as well, which says money is coming to you. So you've got the goldfish next to the coins, money and material success, and money coming to you. So that is, you know, coins from heaven really coming in and you've got the tulip card which says great passion so there's going to be something that you could you're going to do that's going to make you very happy uh you know something that you're going to really enjoy doing so a lot of you know looks like a lot of money coming over here and you're going to be able to overcome these problems that you've been dealing with try not to get too depressed uh you know try to look uh, beyond this particular circumstance that you're going through and know that it's all going to change for the better for you because it looks like uh, things are starting to turn around after this very, very difficult phase that you've been going through. So I'm going to be drawing some cards from the Mona Lisa Tarot and let's see what it's got to say. The bottom of the deck you've got the queen of cups over here so there's a little bit of depression a bit of anxiety going on over here a bit of confusion of feeling a bit lonely as well but uh you're overcoming that this is your cup uh this is your card rather the queen of uh, chalices is the card belonging to pisces so you are relying on your own intuition uh and you're rising above that circumstance you can see this uh in this deck the queen of uh, cups is rising above the water so whatever depression you've been going through you are seeing the bigger picture you're seeing it from a different angle uh, you know different perspective and you are rising above those difficult circumstances right now so you've got um, the knight of wands and you've got uh, the three of swords over here so there might have been a fire sign person that you were dealing with uh, this is could have been um Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and they may have caused some problems. They seem to have caused, uh, you know, maybe they sent you messages or something that's come in in a written form, uh, bringing in that Three of Swords energy, which is, uh, you know, it's, it's an energy of lies, deceit, heartbreak that comes with it. Um, and, you know, you've been really very upset about it. They may have left you, uh, you know, uh, left you by yourself, and now they are sending you messages uh, that cause a lot of heartbreak. Or you hear some kind of news uh, about this particular person that ends up causing you feeling, you know, to feel really upset. Now, you might even be thinking with this uh, Knight of Wands of actually moving on and going and starting a new job somewhere else, leaving things, cutting your ties with that particular situation. The Three of Swords is about cutting ties with the past and moving on. And maybe this is also something that you're thinking of doing. So you could be dealing with that fire sign person. On the other hand, you could be thinking of leaving the situation behind and moving on. So in the past, you had the Nine of Pentacles over here. So you've had to do everything by yourself in this last year. Take care of yourself. The Nine of Pentacles is about being, uh, you know, financially independent, but also having to take care of all that those responsibilities um, and, uh, you know, work pretty hard as well, uh, taking care of a whole bunch of responsibilities. Money has been coming in. It has uh, giving you some financial independence here you might have even received messages about a new job because you've got this bird bringing in that coin so something has come in for you some kind of offer may have come in for you with that nine of pentacles and it's an offer that's going to bring in more money you've got the empress card over here um so uh you know this is about uh you can see this little boy has stolen something and this woman is protecting him so you are in you know you may be looking after children it may be your own children you are very protective over them the empress is a card of uh you know 
know, wealth, really. It's about uh, starting to grow something or bringing in that abundance and also even getting stability. Uh, so it looks like, you know, people have been against you, it seems, uh, and, but you're very protective about what you have uh, with you. So your children or your house or your home is something that you're very protective over with this Empress card. So you might have had some incident with somebody where they're pointing fingers at you and giving you a little bit of grief, um, you know, when dealing with you and the circumstance that you're in. Now, like I said, the Empress is the car, the, she is holding in this uh, deck a uh, uh, little bag of money over there. So, you know, it looks like uh, money has been coming in or it's starting to come in. Or there, at least there is the promise of money coming in. You've got the Knight of Cups over here. So, um, you know, it looks like you are waiting for some kind of offer to come in and it might be work related. You've got this man on the horse over there uh, and uh, you're hoping that that particular uh, uh, job comes in so that you can work and move forward. Um, so uh, it looks like uh, you are waiting for some news or maybe even, you've even been waiting for some kind of offer to come in. Now, uh, you've got the Ace of Pentacles over here. So this looks like there is a beginning of a brand new job over here. So here it is waiting for that offer to come in about work with that Knight of Cups. And then going into the future, you've got that Ace of Pentacles over there. It looks like there's a brand new, uh, there's a lot of money coming in over here. You've definitely been praying for it. You can see this priest in front of this uh, particular, um, you've got the coin over there. So you've been very, very focused on that coin and you have been praying for finances to come in as well. You've been praying for uh, things to change for things to turn around for you. So it looks like this is the beginning or the start of something brand new. It could be a brand new job that comes in for you where it brings in money, but there's definitely some kind of finances coming in over there. And you're starting afresh. You've got the full card over here. So you've really gone to the bottom of the... Uh, you know, you've really hit rock bottom, if I can say that. You can see this man used to be a high priest and he is now standing and begging for coins over here. So he's really lost everything. So you're really starting from scratch, uh, you know, starting from the real, you know, basis. Now you've got this woman giving him coins. So even though you seem, it feels like, you know, you're uh, right at the bottom of things and, you know, everything is... Uh, fallen apart. You can see he looks very injured. He's got a lot of bandages on his uh, body and, you know, he looks, he's still got his power in his hand because he's got the rod, um, the wand in his hand or the rod in his hand. But it looks like, you know, you are waiting for people to help you out and it looks like help is going to be coming in with this full card. You've got the King of Cups over here, so it looks like you've had to lay something to rest. There was, uh, this is either, uh, you know, um, maybe somebody physically, uh, you know, died in your life. There might have been a death. Uh, but this could also be that you've ended up letting go of somebody who was very controlling. Uh, you know, it, there was a lot of drama involved in that letting go of that person. Maybe you have let go of that person. This could have been a water sign person that you let go of because it's the King of Cups. It could have been uh, another um, Pisces, but it could have been Scorpio or uh, Pisces as well that you were dealing with. But there was a lot of drama that was involved in letting go of this particular situation. And it seems like that person has gone. Uh, and maybe you're feeling, you know, like you really don't know what to do in the circumstance uh, after that person has left your, uh, uh, after that influence has left you. So what do you want with that five of swords? Uh, you don't want any more drama. This uh, card is showing that somebody was stirring up a lot of issues over there, causing a lot of problems, um, and, uh, you know, uh, there were lots of people that were involved in it. Uh, you are now standing up for yourself with this five of swords. You can see this woman, although these people uh, were against her, has now, you know, emerged victoriously out of that. And that is what you want. This is in your hopes and fears. You're trying to show people exactly what you're made of and you're trying to emerge victorious. You want them all to run away. You want them all to leave you be and go. You know, that drama you want it to go. Uh, so you are finally now starting to change your mindset and stand up for yourself. So going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the chariot, the lovers, and the ten of cups over here. The chariot card is, uh, you know, it's about flying and taking a risk, uh, you know, determined to do something and achieving it. So this man has built uh, wings so that he can fly. So out of the circumstance, as, as, you know, as much as it brought you right down to your knees, you are finally starting to move forward. You're starting to rise above that circumstance. You've built your own wings. So you are coming out of it on your own strength and you are rising above everything else. Uh, the chariot card could be also a change of home. You might be moving home, buying a new home, but it's a great determination to get, uh, you know, get going, 
to win to succeed and with the chariot card it is a card of victory so it looks like whatever you're doing you will be able to rise above that circumstance you know and you can see even though these um wings look very makeshift like they won't fly he's he's flying so you know even all your talents and skills that you have even though you think they're not worth it they are going to be worth something and you should use them employ them use that confidence that you have uh, speak with confidence and you will be able to be victorious um, you know you have to get control of that situation control of that circumstance and you will be able to rise above it <coughs> You've got the lover's card over here, which is talking about a choice that you have to make. Uh, you know, you have to choose what you want. You know, something that you love, or maybe you have to walk away from a circumstance. Maybe, you know, don't follow the crowd. Maybe go your own route. Find your own way. So there is some kind of crossroads that you're really... Uh, you are uh, reaching in your life that you're going to have to get over that situation. So you can either follow the crowd and do what everybody else is doing, or you can go your own path and, uh, you know, walk uh, a path um, doing something that you love. You've got this roses in his hand over here, uh, so you can see that, uh, you know, gifts are going to be coming to you. Um, so, uh, you know, be... Uh, open to those gifts that come and they'll come in uh, you know rather strange forms the universe tends to bring that to us uh, when we least expect it so there is a choice that you have to make you've got the ten of cups over here so there's the end of a very very difficult situation a very a difficult circumstance uh, whatever you're waiting for you know if you're waiting for somebody um, you know, to get theirs, if you like, you're waiting for karmic justice, you're going to have to bide your time. Those difficult circumstances are over. This old lady is looking at this young woman and her daughter. Uh, you know, she's waiting for them to grow up, uh, you know, maybe be before she can uh, sort things out. But uh, this is waiting. Um, waiting for things to come to you and they will come to you but it's also with the ten of cups the end of difficulties and the hope in the beginning of something brand new so it looks like you know uh, as far as your love life or your emotional life goes or how you feel about things those difficulties have now reached their end and you are now progressing and you're moving forward you can see this lady and this and her daughter are moving away from uh you know the old um, so it looks like, you know, you are moving away from an, a difficult situation and going out into the world. Um, so you are, you are leaving. It looks like, you know, you might be, uh, you know, changing home, buying a new house, leaving that circumstance completely, but you are making a move, uh, forward. You are turning your back on that, on what has happened and you are moving behind, uh, moving forward. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the animal tarot for the Oracle read. Okay, so this is really very positive because you've got the world card over here and this shows the end of a cycle. Congratu congratulations on uh, successfully accomplishing what you set out to do. You have made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons life offered you with grace and courage. Now, the world card is about completion. It's also about, you know, getting into a new job that's going to be very successful because it is a card ruled by Saturn as well. You've learned a lot of lessons. Saturn is the great teacher of the Zodiac. And you have, and it's a difficult teacher. It's a difficult phase to go through. Uh, but once you have made Saturn happy, uh, you know, it... Um, it brings you success. So whatever you've been working hard for and whatever hardships you've gone through, success will follow that with that work hard. You will also get closure on certain circumstances. So things that have not been working out for you will start working out. You've got the Ace of Summer over here. This is an excellent card to get after the world card because that's the end of a comic cycle. The Ace of Summer is the Ace of Cups. So something brand new beginning. This is the beginning of a new emotional experience for you. It may be the first blush of a romantic love, the rebirth of current relationship, or the awakening of spiritual gifts and insights. Now, whatever happens, it's going to be positive. There's transformation that has happened, but also abundance coming in for you. There could be an offer for further study if you need to have further training. Also, an apology could come in from somebody, but you can also even meet somebody brand new if this card comes in. So this is about changing uh, the way you're feeling on an emotional level. Now, it looks like there might be a relationship coming in because you've got the Two of Summer following it, which is the Two of Cups, which says you are falling in love and experiencing a deepening of emotions or experiencing a deep deepening of emotion in your current relationship. Marriage or romantic partnerships in distress can still be saved 
don't give up. So if you're hoping to, uh, you know, reconcile with somebody, maybe this card shows that, uh, you know, that could well be the case. The rest of the spread doesn't seem to show reconciliation, so this is probably a brand new relationship coming in. You have got the lovers in the spread as well, which is talking also, uh, apart from making a choice, it could be even having somebody uh, make an offer on a romantic level to you. And you've got that ace of summer. So whoever this person is that you meet is going to bring in a new emotional experience from you and it's going to be somebody that you soul connect with uh, somebody that you understand or they understand you and you know you are working on the same uh, level um, so uh, this is a, a really strong connection as well with that tomb of summer you know it could be a very strong friendship but it could also be a very very strong stable relationship that comes in for you so you have finished your karmic journey uh, um, karmic cycle this part of the cycle is now finished you will start a brand new one and it looks like it's taking you into the relationship front so maybe you had to deal with a lot of financial problems with the world card it's the end of that difficult financial situation but it looks like it's the beginning of a new emotional cycle for you so it might be a new um, relationship uh, that is coming in. You know, maybe it's now the focus is going to be on relationships as opposed to money. And you've got that Ace of Pentacles, which is talking about new money. So where you felt really poverty stricken and you've had to beg people for help, it looks like that cycle is now finished. The Fool talks about something brand new beginning. Uh, it's also on that financial basis. Something is new is coming in. And it looks like it's the end of that uh, relationship with somebody who was very manipulative, maybe controlling on an emotional level, that has now come to an end as well. And also the end of some, you know, some really difficult problems with the Ten of Cups and you walking away with, uh, you know, um, to start something brand new. You're leaving the old behind. So um, I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.